find it necessary again to warn those, as Jesus warned his disciples about the last days, as recorded in Matthew 24, that many deceivers would come in his name, the name of Jesus, and they would deceive many, and Jesus warned, go not after them. If you go after them, they set a trap, and it's like a magnet, it draws you in. And once you're in, you can't get out. It's a snare of the devil. It's like a trap, it's an enticement. Peter writes that they allure, these deceivers allure through covetousness. It's like, say you're looking at Harley's, and then lust conceives. You want to buy that thing, that beautiful machine that looks so good, and then when you ride it, you will feel that people will say, Wow, isn't that a neat looking bike? And you're drawn in, and you spend more than you can afford in some cases, or if you're a pastor and a lot of these churches, they could buy a dozen of these. It's no big deal. But these, it's an example of idols. It's a lust after. It requires money that you throw at it, and it never ends. Have you ever noticed when someone buys a Harley, the first thing they do is change the pipes or the, the handlebars or the paint scheme or the tires and it's an ongoing lust that never is satisfied. Well this is what it's like with these false teachers, deceivers, who for unjust gain Supposing, supposing gain is godliness from such turn away, Paul writes to Timothy about the last days of perilous time, 2 Timothy 3. Read it. Men shall be proud boasters, blasphemers. Blasphemer is not always just someone who curses the name of the Lord or says the name of the Lord in vain. And, but a blasphemer can also be a false prophet who says, Thus saith the Lord, the Lord has told me such and such when it is a lie. That's blaspheming. And there is no forgiveness of sin when you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. And when you say, Thus saith the Lord, you're saying the Holy Ghost has given you that word to speak. You don't mess with this kind of stuff lightly. And you don't go beyond your own borders that God has given you. You cannot go and function in the Holy Spirit beyond the anointing that has been placed on you. If you do, your words will be brass and your prayers will not be answered, and you'll be like the seven sons of Sceva, upon whom the devil leaped on them, tore their clothes off, and wounded them, and they ran away naked. We see this happening, sometimes even to the point where people are killed, are slain by the Spirit of God, because they have treaded on His sanctuary and treaded on His blood, putting Christ to an open shame. These are serious things. Be warned. Beware.